when I was asked to send some plastic to Athens for Documenta, I had a whole studio full of plastic. So I, it was hard to make a choice. Um, my artworks or my sculptures are made out of plastic and what I'm trying to show in the work is not just that we're throwing plastic out into the environment which is um, polluting the water that life depends on, but also how uh, foolish we are. So much that's made out of plastic is absolutely useless or could be made out of materials that are not going to pollute the environment. So, um, for instance, this um, shower cap was given to me as a gift. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever wear it. Perhaps I'll wear it now. There we go. Okay. Um, this toy, what, what would you do with this toy? I don't know. It was on the street. Someone had it and thought, yeah, we're sick of it or it's useless. Throw it on the street. This was on the street. It's for um, tying things together. We have a rope, we have string to tie things together. And of course, the bottle. There are millions of plastic bottles everywhere. And guess what they contain? They contain water. And we can easily get water out of the tap. Why spend money buying water when you're polluting the environment with it. Okay, what else? Plastic bags. We don't need plastic bags. When I was a child, my mother used to go shopping with a basket over her arm. There were, were no plastic bags. It's really crazy. Okay, another thing, cigarette butts. Millions of cigarette butts go into the environment every day, right? Not every year or every week. It's a huge problem because not only are they, the um, filters made of plastic that doesn't um, go away, it's, they're also full of all kinds of poisons. So, you know, it's a really uh, crazy thing for people who smoke to be so selfish and just throw their butts on the ground. I could go on and on, um, you know, all these things. I found this on the street. Yeah, it's made out of synthetic fabric. And when you put um, synth synthetic fab fabrics into the washing machine, the um, fibres break down a bit. And so the water that goes into the ocean through the um, wastewater plants that are cleaning the water, it doesn't pick up on these tiny little micro beads of plastic and the fish and all of the creatures in the, in the rivers and the oceans are ingesting those pollutants. Then we eat those fish and the pollutions go into our system. But you know, we're the ones who are causing this, so fine. It's okay. If it poisons us, fine. But we're poisoning all life forms, not just our own. My sculptures are contextualised by photographs of um, pristine nature that isn't uh, contaminated with plastics or anything else. Um, like in national parks, like up in the hills around Athens where the forest is allowed to just grow without interference and also in Castle, where the other document is going to be. I documented a beautiful forest near there too. Then another series um, shows the rivers and how plastics are getting into the rivers and the rivers flow into the sea. And um, then there's the futuristic uh, diorama or uh, museum display of what things are going to be like in 2054 when plastics have taken over everything, including living creatures.